I find it ha uh, hard to believe that that driver did not know what he was hauling. Many are still left with questions after a deadly smuggling incident ended in San Antonio Sunday. The trucking school at St. Philip's College helped us gain a better understanding of just what they endured. And that part up there is the thing that keeps it refrigerated. But just like what happened in the smuggling case, there isn't a working refrigerator here either. We have an infrared thermometer and we're going to go ahead and test out the temperature on the side of this truck. The reading right now is 108 degrees. We tested the temperature inside the trailer and it still reached nearly 100 degrees. It would need to be much cooler to carry people. There's not any air circulation in here, even though the walls of the trailer here are technically a little bit cooler than the outside. I would say that it would need to be that, 70 to 75. It has a metal floor in it, and you can see all the insulation and how thick it is. I'm thinking the coolest that it ever was in that whole trip was 85 degrees at midnight here in San Antonio. That would still make it very warm in that trailer. The UT Health Science Center says at about 106 degrees, the body's enzymes start breaking down. And when someone's temperature reaches 108 degrees, major body systems deteriorate. The trailer's temperature could have reached 130 degrees. A lot of them are very critically ill, and unfortunately, uh, some may not survive. Uh, they are very severely injured by the heat illness, uh, suffering from brain damage, kidney failure. So while a truck like this could maintain a more constant temperature inside, it's no match for the heat outside. Stacy Welsh, Ken's 5, Eyewitness News.